Hello everybody, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. I'm bringing you the last stamp timber exclusive with Simon Says Stamp and this is the Art Impressions set. I love Art Impressions. Many of you watch my videos often so I know you see Art Impressions very frequently throughout my channel. I enjoy their fun eclectic designs and all of their products just really make me smile. It's a fun company. I love their brand and that's why I'm really excited to be sharing today's project using the Coolest Friends stamp set. I'm going to be creating this snowy wintry card using some fun products, watercolors, a little bit of stenciling. We're going to do a lot of little things here and there throughout this card and all together they create a really fun scene. So I'm going to start by stamping the image onto some Arches cold pressed watercolor paper using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Now this watercolor paper is extremely textured so we're going to need to stamp a couple times to get a nice crisp impression. I'll stamp that a couple times and move on to the watercoloring. For watercolors I chose my favorite Prima and Daniel Smith watercolors and I'm just going to color in the image. Now you can color this with whatever medium you prefer, whether you use Copics, colored pencils, watercolors, any medium that you color this image in with will look fabulous on the scene we're gonna create. For the snow, I thought I'd go a little bit creative and go purple and blue at the same time. And I really liked how that combination ended up drying. It looks really, really pretty. And you could do the same thing with some light Copic markers. This image really makes me f laugh because it looks like the snowman is wearing the woman's glasses and I think that's just really cute. She decorated the snowman with a fun jacket, a cool hat, and of course her glasses. I'm coloring her with some slightly non-traditional Christmas colors. I've got pink and purple for her scarf and sweater. I'll use a grayish blue for her pants and then I will color in her Santa hat a red color just like the scarf that I'm coloring for the snowman. I thought that would help tie those two together. I also am going to color in the jacket for the snowman with some greens. I wanted to pair in a little bit more green because I am using green for the holly sprig that's on the snowman's hat. So because of that, that's why I chose green for the jacket. It helps tie that color in so it's not the only bit of green on the card. We're just about done with the coloring and once we are, I will end up fussy cutting this image out. But before I do that, I want to bring in some sparkle. I love adding snowy effects to my scenes and one of my favorite ways to do that is with Distress Mica Flakes. It creates a really fun snowy texture. It sparkles, but it's not glitter. So I really like the effect that this gives. And of course, those big chunky pieces are awesome. So I'm going to Lay those down in some glossy accents to hold them in place. That'll dry clear. While it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and ink blend a background using some Simon Says Stamp inks. I've chosen Twirling Tutu, Winter Sky, and also Soft Navy. And I'm starting with the Twirling Tutu and fading that out to Winter Sky. You'll see that little ink smudge there on the end. I'm actually going to cover that up with the Soft Navy, so I wasn't too worried about the fact that I got a little bit of an ink smudge there. There's always usually a way you can fix little things like that. Here's where I brought in that soft navy, blended that out and you can see that little ink stain really faded out and you can't really tell it's there. We're also going to add a little bit more stenciling over top of this which will further help hide that. I'm going to use this snowflake stencil from Simon's Stamp to add the additional stenciling. I'm taping that down, holding it in place and I'm going to use the soft navy ink to just gently fade in some soft snowflakes for the background. This is just going to create just a slight texture over top of our blending. It's not super crazy. You could of course do this in a texture paste so it's nice white and that would make it a little bit brighter but I wanted something that was going to be more faded out into the background and not so intense. So I really like how this looked and I'll attach my woman and snowman on top of my scene along the bottom and I'll add a little bit more snowy effects here in a second. Before I do that, I did stamp a sentiment from the stamp set onto some black cardstock and I'll emboss this with white embossing powder. After this is heat set, I did use my scissors to cut the sentiment out and I'll pop this up off of my card at a slight angle for a little bit of fun and I really love that contrast. Here's where I brought in some more snow, so to speak. I'm bringing in white Nouveau drops and adding dots of them in between the large snowflakes that we've stenciled into the background. 
This is creating a really nice effect. We've got snowflakes in the background, and then we've got these white glossy snowflakes of dots in the foreground. So we get a really nice depth effect here. I matted that down onto a white cardstock card base, and we are done. I love how this card turned out. I love the shimmer of the mica flakes. I think those look really awesome with the rest of the snowy elements that we have here in our scene. And I just adore how this stamp set turned out and how it's so much fun it is to create with to make some really cool cards. So whether you make winter cards, Christmas cards, you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with this cool friend stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and Art Impressions. As with all the other Stamp Timber exclusives, this is available only while supplies last. And I think this one will sell up just as quickly as all the others have. So if you like this set, be sure to grab it while you can. And if you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a very, very wonderful day. Bye!